I want to ask you, uh, just I want to pick on something you said about eight, ten minutes ago in that, is that the original plan between you and Sean, how far was that going to go, the feud? I mean, I, I know back in the probably the mid-90s still that they uh, planned their feuds many months in advance. But uh, so, so as far as you knew, this is going to be the first confrontation really between you and Sean in Winnipeg. How far was it going to go? Um, was it going to get, make it to WrestleMania, you think, or how far? That, that was as far as I had heard. But typically at that time, that would have progressed on beyond that. Uh, if you remember, like, Rude and, and, and the mm-hmm. Warrior being the template. Uh, I know that Vince had a lot planned for that because at Valparaiso, Indiana, had a TV taping around that time. I forget if it was before. I think it was at, before it, but not long before it. This is when Bill Watts was still there. They had Sean and I go out and work the first dark match, which is where they get the cameras and the sound and lights and everything ready. I, Vince clearly wanted to see what we could do together. And was, we had circled around a couple times. 17,000 people sold out. We went to lock up, and as I reach out for the lock up, he takes a flat back bump and he's laying right in front of me. Now, I, I know Bill Watts right now, is, his head is exploding back there, wondering why I don't drop down and sugar his ass or, you know, take my way with him. Mm. And, uh, and so I looked down and I said, unless you want your ass stretched, you best get back to your feet. And he rolled away and he's covering his mouth going, take it easy, Dean, calm down, Dean. The rest of the match was me calling the match as the heel. When I would say, like, say backdrop, he would say, no, drop kick. I mean, backdrop, damn it. And it was like fighting that whole way. We came back. It was the first time I'd ever spoken back to Bill Watts. We came back and Bill looked at me and he went, and I, I put my hand up and said, don't say a fucking thing. I said, talk to your fucking golden boy. And uh, I don't know what happened beyond that between him and Bill, but uh, probably nothing. But uh, I, the Bill that I'd worked for a few years before <laughs> would have been a little less than happy, in, you know, in the UWF over that. Uh, and, and to be fair, Vince McMahon should have been pissed off about that. You know, it's it's his product in, seven, in front of 17,000 people, even though it's not being televised. There's 17,000 people who go out and go, hey, Shane, and Dean Douglas and Shawn Michaels did this weird thing, and, and the match was real choppy as a result. So Vince, you know, again, the, the eternal question, like, was this some kind of plan by Vince? Uh, did it just sort of happen and he let it? Uh, or was he completely aloof? Who knows? Uh, it's irrelevant to me. The product sucked and, 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 and was harmed by the fact that this was going on. 